Hello and welcome to another episode of Gamers of the Nexus. I'm Rastral playing Planet Explorers and we'll carry on where, where we left off last week. Uh, I had to do this uh, quest from Alan Carter, the life boost quest. I need to create one unit of simple plastic, gather units of elder flower, and gather three units of Sikas. 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 I don't know, whatever it's called. Um, I'll let you into a little secret. I played all of this the other day and the recording went really, really bad. I had like interference from Skype, interference, interference from the phone, a guy outside was drilling. So when I played it back, it sounded horrible, so I'll just play it again. And I learned another thing, it was really dark when I was questing in the dark, obviously. So it didn't make for good viewing, so what I think I'll do is wait for it to, to be day again. And in the meantime, I'll be gathering some mats, some wood, maybe mine in a bit. That way when I need to create anything else, I'll have the mats and you don't have to see all that wood chopping again. So I'll do that and then come back to you when it's day and carry on with the quest. See you in a while, crocodile. Back again, what for you was a second, for me to be more of an hour. I was thinking that it was a bit long, but then I realized I could have been questing, I could have been doing missions. But I didn't want to do that because I didn't want it to be bad viewing for you guys. So I kind of like the idea that it's a long night. Because when it gets day, when the sun starts to rise, it really feels like it's a new day, a new beginning. And this looks really epic. I'm still waiting for the sun to actually pop out from the horizon. But still, right now it's looking very beautiful. But anyway, no time to look at the sunrise. We've got to get moving. I'll tell you what I did quickly. I actually made an axe. Cut some wood all the way here, all around here. There were some trees there, I cut it all down. And then I did the pick, which I've lost it now, I wouldn't pick and I didn't want to do another one. So I wanted to show you how I did the pick. I mean, it's the same as everything else, you just use your replicate menu here. But yeah, the next pick I'll do probably will be stone. So with one pick, with one wooden pick, I mined out all this. And this is another aspect of the game that you haven't seen in my videos yet, actual terraforming. So you could mine all the way down there I think it's as long as you want to make it I'd imagine so anyway and yeah you could make a big cave chamber I was pretty safe from mobs here no one actually entered here when I exited once there was a spider creature all up on my grill here but yeah apart from that no one came in so it's good way to get protected in the wilderness I imagine so let's carry on with this quest then. Where were we? Uh, let's see. Yeah. Create a unit of plastic, three units of elderflower, and the sick ass thingy. Okay. So now I've got my axe ready. It'll be a quicker, I imagine, to actually cut this thing down. This is the sickest tree. I think that's what it's called. Oh, I. I actually, I was reading in the forums, the all creatures do have names, I just didn't know that. Not implemented in-game yet, I think, but there is a sort of picture diagram telling you the names of all the creatures. And I think the actual uh, flora have names as well, so... I don't know what this is called, but it looks like the devil cactus. The devil cactus, because of its horns there. That's what I'm going to call it until I research a bit and find out the real name. Devil Cactus. So this is a Sikas. Sikas. See, 25 of them. Now all I need is some um, elderflower and to create the plastic. Where's the elderflower? Let's see. I think this is the elderflower. Pretty certain it is. Might be wrong. <coughs> Dandelion, yeah. So that wasn't the elderflower. Let's see. Where is the elderflower? You see the sun? How nice. This is Iris. Pick it up just to make sure. That's right, that's Iris. Starting to get to know the different plants of this world. 
Okay, where the hell is the elder flower? There, I think that's it. The white looking flower. The elder flower. Or yellow, is it yellow? So it's this yeah, elder flower. So that's the elder flower. This I think is a tulip. Just get it just to make sure. Tulip. That's right. So that was the elder flower and now I need to create the plastic. For the plastic I think I have the script here. Yeah, so I learned the script. And now I can create the plastic. But what do I need to make the plastic? Resin, which I had, so that's nice. That's done. So that's the quest done. Let's talk to this guy. So where are the others? I finished what you told me to do. Good enough. Here are the scripts the revival shot needs. Still, with the way you're running around this place, you probably won't see the next sunrise, even with this shot. With the shot. Yeah. Now that I've created the revival shot script, I want to make sure it actually works. You know, application of theory and all. Haha. -ha. You want to try it out? It's simple. Just go beat up uh, just go get beat up by some wild beast and use it when you're done. When you're down. What do you want? Okay, so Run along now. I have to get beat up by a beast, which at night would have been simpler, cause those spiders I didn't show you, but there's spiders all uh, all uh, all around, and they do much damage. So I have to find an aggressive creature, cause those. Stag Stegosaurus things, I think they're called Stag something. They don't do, they don't attack back, they run, but these guys do. So let's get on with it. I'll, I'll take two at a time. Come back here. Ah, he's running away. I'll just get killed first and then I'll kill him. Come on. Okay. So you get killed, you've got the shot thing. And as long as you've got these shots, you can revive at the same point. The thing is, you revive with less life, half your life, and not so much stamina. So you need to have a biscuit so you can move quickly. And if you have some medipacks and stuff, which I don't right now, well, you have some of that and get back in the fight if you want to. I'm not going to do that now because I don't have too much life and I don't want to die again. So there. Now we've got some wood, I actually, these are the resources I managed to get whilst I was waiting it, uh, for it to get today. And I've got some limestone, 115, some dirt blocks, and yeah, all of these different things. And I've got 49 wood, so I think I'm going to make myself a shield. Costs, uh, costs 12 wood, a bit much, but, but hey. We need protection. Where's the shield? Okay. Another thing, I was uh, playing create create mode before, and I made a sword. By the way, if you press J, it's a shortcut for this mode, for the creation mode. I did this sword. It's not the best looking sword in the world, but I mean, it's my first attempt, so it's not that bad, I think. So what I did here, because you've got the templates for the normal hilts, uh, what I did was covered the template, because you can't color in uh, the templates. So I covered the template with some diamond, which looks shiny and nice, and then painted over it. Having said that, I would have probably covered the the template with another, the handle with another thing rather than diamond because I like the blade shining but not the handle. But anyway, I'm not going to change it. Thing is, it need, I, I need three diamond and a whole load of, you see, if I try to export it, I need three diamond, actual copper, uh, copper handle, then a lot of of this, what do you call it? I don't know what you call it now, the pigment. So the different colored pigments I used to make the blade. And I have none of that, so I can't export it right now. I wanted to look to see how it looked, but I'm gonna have to wait till I actually get resources for that. So hello Alan Carter. Huh? 
finished what you told me to do. Splendid. It works better than I thought, seeing how you are still up and about. I guess I am a glorious genius. Haha. <laughs> yep. Genius indeed. So there's a crate here. I also noticed that if you right click the crate, you can open it and you can get stuff from inside. There's a bed. I have two beds now and I haven't tried it out. I'm wondering if maybe I place a bed somewhere, maybe in my little cave there. I can go to sleep and it yeah, it becomes day and I don't have to wait the whole night for it to become day. <laughs> Sorry I'm not making sense but yeah. I have to try that some other time. But now let's continue with this. Let's see what he has to say. What? Where are my med packs? Yeah. He was supposed to give me med packs uh, when I saved Gertie Hook there and he didn't give them to me. Now I've got them, I'll set them here. It's only free, but you never know when you're gonna need them. So you set them there. So where are the others? He sells stuff too, but I don't wanna buy nothing right now. I just wanna, yeah, headlamp. That's nice for when you're exploring in the dark, but I don't wanna buy nothing right now. Just wanna do the quest. So where are the others? That's always good. All right. I've highlighted the two locations on the map. Don't die out there and hurry back. Huh? Sure. That's all. So if you look at the map, I've got these two locations highlighted. I'll be setting off to this one, which is closer, obviously. And before I finish, because I'll do that quest in the next episode, this seems to be one quest at a time, but I want to show you this. This here is a repair machine. When you right click it, it opens a help menu to explain a bit how it works. But I know how it works, so I'll just get on with it. So I've been using my axe quite a bit now. Actually, my wood pickaxe broke. And I'm not sure if I can fix that. I haven't tried this. Yeah. So it br uh, the durability reached zero. I can't use it anymore. But if I have five wood, I click repair and I have a new pickaxe without having to create a new one. Now let me just check something because how, how much wood does it take to make a pickaxe? Ten. So yeah, so for half the price you fix up your pickaxe and that's brilliant. So thank you very much for that. So anyway, I'll be signing off now. Please like, subscribe and leave a comment down there. See you next time, where we'll be meeting up with the other survivors somewhere around here. Goodbye.